Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to do bookmarks and hyperlinks using our open office template for the Kindle. Now I've already done a video and blog post for our Word template on how to do this, so there's a link above this video that'll show you exactly how to do that if you're using Word. But we do also have a lot of people using open office, so I thought I would show it on that as well. So the benefit of using bookmarks and hyperlinks is that when people are reading your book, you can actually quickly and easily link them to another area of your book. So for example, let's say you're in chapter two reading something and you have something that you want to link to that's maybe in chapter seven. You can create a clickable link that will link directly to chapter seven that somebody can just click on or hit select on if they're using a Kindle and that'll take them to wherever you want them to go. So let's jump right into it and show you exactly how to do that. So uh, let's say you want to take them to your about the author page and I'm going to create a new line here and what you can do is you can have really the first step is to create the bookmark for where you want them to go. So in this example, it could be a word, a sentence, an entire page, whatever you want to do. Uh, what, let's just say you want to take them to your About the Author page. In that case, I would put the cursor right here, right before the About the Author. If you wanted to take them to a specific place on the page, you can put the cursor anywhere on that page. But let's take them to the very beginning. And what you want to do is you want to click on Insert and then Bookmark. So you want to insert a bookmark. And what you want to do is you, is you need to name the bookmark. So in this case, I'm just going to name it About Me. You can name it anything you want, but just keep it lowercase. I'll just name it About Me and click OK. So now we have a bookmark right here. You can't see it, but it's there called About Me. So let's go up to a different page. Here's uh, Chapter 2. Here's Chapter 1. So let's put something in chapter one that says, you know, click here to read more about me. And we're going to hyperlink that sentence. Now, you could hyperlink an entire sentence or even just one word if you want to. It's totally up to you. So you just select whatever you want to be the hyperlink. I'm going to hyperlink the entire sentence here. Click here to read more about me. So you want to select whatever text you want to be the link and then click on insert and for this you're going to insert a hyperlink okay now open office will probably default to having the internet selected right here and and the web and this is where you would put it if you're linking to like somewhere on the internet but in this case we're actually linking to somewhere else inside our document, inside our book. So what you want to do is you want to click right here where it says document. And then you're going to use this section here, target in document right here. And you're going to click on this little icon. When I click on that, this pops up and we have bookmarks showing right here. So I'm just going to click on the little arrow next to bookmarks. And look at this. Here is the one I just created called about me. So any bookmarks that you create and save will show up in this section. So here's About Me. So I'm just going to select About Me so it's highlighted and then just click Apply and then Close. So Apply and then Close. And then again, just to be safe, you also want to click Apply again right here because what it does, it puts it here. So you could have um, skipped the step of clicking on this icon and just typed About Me here. But you have to remember exactly what you called that bookmark. So I recommend just clicking on that and just clicking on it. Anyway, once you've done that and you've closed this, make sure again and hit apply right here to finish it out. And then close. Okay, so now you'll see that we actually have a hyperlink right here. It's automatically hyperlinked for us. So now when we click on it, it takes us right to the beginning of the About the Author page. So it's really simple to do. You can create as many of these in your book as you want. And it's a good idea because if you're referring to something that's somewhere else in your book, you can easily link to it. And the reader can just click on that link and go directly to where you want them to go. 
and then they can click the back button and get right back to the page they were on before they click the link. It's really simple. So again, your first step is to figure out what you want to link to. And when you do that, you can just insert a bookmark and give it a name. And then you just figure out what you're linking from, whether it's a sentence, a page, a word, or whatever. And you highlight it and click insert hyperlink, choose document, and then set your target based on what you named the bookmark and hit apply and you are good to go. So that is how you can use bookmarks and hyperlinks to do internal links in your Kindle books using our open office template.